viewers, we are having some technical difficulties. YouTube viewers, ah, oh, there goes the gator. He stole a fish off my line. I was gonna come record him, but there he goes. Anyways, we're back out fishing. And today is my brother-in-law's last day on his fishing license. So we are going to try to get my brother-in-law hooked up on a massive bass. Guest star Charles Matson here. He's trying to catch his first fish after five days. <laughs> You're struggling there, buddy. <laughs> you blow the hook on Chris's face. We had to catch her first ever bass here, so Chuck's going for his first ever bass. I did not catch my first ever bass here. Hey, hey, hey. hey viewers, if you listen to this, I've caught many, many bass before. The only difference is, is just here is where I've caught my biggest bass. Not my first bass, but my biggest one. I've your first fish. Ah, oh, jeez. Right like here. That, I... <laughs> Almost pierced my ear again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what we're doing right now is we're working on catching some live bait. Well, after we catch quite a few live baits, we are going to set them out for some bass. And there's that lovely gator right there who stole my bait off my line. And we may do a catch and cook on him. May do a catch and cook on him. What, crawl down here or just... Walk around to it. I gotta hold it while you walk down there then. I don't know what you're talking about. You just drag him up or what? Yeah. This rookie over here. Little. Viewers, we are having some technical difficulties. We got a tangled up reel over here. And we got a tangled tip over here. Did it on purpose. What is better? A tangled tip or a tangled base? Just the tip. Just the tip is better? How the hell did you do that? The wind did it. <laughs> it's not that windy. Hit this record button in fact on time, but oh no! He's got a fish, which is probably a tilapia, but it is tangled up in the lilies down there. It's out! It's out! There it is! Keep going! Oh, don't get tangled in the tree now. Woohoo! Looks like we're gonna have some tilapia tacos tonight. I don't want to eat fish. More for you guys. Woohoo! Second one of the day. Good job, sweetheart. Someone's gotta get some Someone's gotta provide. Here. Someone's gotta provide. So far, it's the hubby that's providing. Mm -hmm. On a regular, I don't catch freshwater fish. Any kind of fish. Only sharks. Only sharks. 
That's our next mission. Sharks and gators is all I get. Okay, let's see if we can get some more. So what are you doing now, sweetie? Looking for movement that's not a turtle or a gator. And what are you doing? Oh, you got twisted up. I didn't twist it. I haven't even used that one yet. I used the baby one. We got our sights on some fish. Oh, it's tilapia. Ah, oh, dang, the turtles were coming in hot. <laughs> As if they were tossed out for him. Okay, we see. Oh, there's one coming at 12 o'clock. We see. Oh, no. He's rolling in. The turtle is coming in hot. Come on, tilapia. Please hit that line first. Oh. Look at that beast. Oh, the beast broke loose. We were so close. Yeah, there's a bass. He just went into the shallow or shadows over here. There's a big bass that came in. And it was trying to eat the beast that my husband was reeling in. But as you can see, the beast broke off the line. Dang it. We were so close to having that one. But now the real question. We're going to toss a live bait out here. And we're going to try to get this other beast that is lurking in the darkness below. Oh man, let's see if we can bring that massive beast out. Okay, to be continued. Um, we're having difficulties again. So we're trying to get our live bait to splash around, which is great to bring out the bass, but it's also bringing out this thing. This lovely creature that people constantly like to feed. I would love to capture him and relocate him to the back pond, but that is not my job to do that. Charles Matson here has caught a massive tilapia. It looks like he'll finally get something to eat tonight. Go around the corner. I'm a provider. Oh, I got him trained too. I got him trained too. Stay. Good boy. Wow, look at that fat hog. It's a female. I got a fat belly as a female. I like turtles. A few moments later. What's up, Matt's and Outdoor viewers? We've come to another location because our first location sucked. And as you can see, Sweetheart has caught yet another beast. And it's so big, he must go retrieve this beast. Got it. As you can see over here in the sunlighted area. Well, you know what? I think you need to chop a fish up and get the gar. There's a gar down here. By this elephant ear water lily thing. So if you catch this gar, are we eating it or are you trying to keep it as a pet? I say eat it. So as you can see over here, once again, let me continue what I was saying before the interruption. But right here in this area are tilapia, and they're a decent sized tilapia. Um, we're trying to catch them and it is not working out so far. So, yeah. oh, he got a tree. So there was a little fish over here that went and snapped up this fish bait that we have. It's a little bit of a bluegill. And we're trying to see if whatever it was that snatched it right away will come back. Oh, I see the little gar. Perfect spot, sweetie. You see him? But it's a baby one. We can't eat that one. Uh-huh. Eh? Ooh. That's a bowfin, ain't it? That is a bowfin. <gasps> That's a bowfin. Wait, do you have a strong enough leader? Oh! Chuckles has got something here. He's got a, that's a huge bluegill. Big bluegill. Oh, the gar is so tiny. This thing is not even like a foot big. It's like eight inches. <gasps> that would be perfect for the stock pond. Uh oh, he's starting to swim away. No, I'm not. He's waiting for food. Oh, he's chewing the tail. Oh, he's still eating whatever it is that he took off your line. Okay. He's right here. Oh, there goes the bowfin! The bowfin! Oh, bowfin! 
The bullfin, the bullfin got it. He sure did. The bullfin got it. Hold on, wait, Chuck, grab the nut. Got it again. Get ready. That's a little tarpon. Oh, come on. So Something got it. Tarpon. That's a tarpon. Yep, it, it was a tarpon for sure. Okay. A tarpon is like a salt water, brackish water. Yeah, he's still on. Go. Oh no, it's stuck in the tree. As you can see, Hubby's got his line dangling in the tree. And there's a small, probably like a foot long tarpon here in this canal that wanted it, but the hook was not setting in it and we could not get the line out of the tree. What a great scenario. <gasps> he got it again. Oh, 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 what it? What is that one? That one's not a tarpon. <laughs> what is this? Gar has got the bait in its mouth. He's chewing on it. Oops, sorry guys. I think he's spitting off the hook. He's trying to. Oops, I missed it again. I got him. Here. Yep. What the hell was that? Sick of this. Beep. I mean, whoa. My sweetheart said he caught a tart. Oh. And Chuckles caught another tree. Huge. You may have pulled tighter. Oh, that is a big soft show. No, no. Come on, buddy, we gotta get the hook out of you first. What? I said, hang on, buddy, we gotta get the hook out of you first. Chris has got him. Did you get the gar? Nope. Oh! The next day. What I came for. A freaking bowfin. Look at this. Caught it on bread.